Genius is impossible to understand, but watching one at work can at least drive the definition home. Despite being so rare, prodigies often seem to end up sharing each other's company. It's uh, the soul of Abu. He composed absolutely everything. We have great musicians uh, playing on this album. Tom Kennedy, Ryan Lee, Antonio Hart, Cecilia Stalin, David and Daryl from the Chop Horns. It's a masterpiece. I mean, I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. It's a, a beautiful album. Most teenagers have at best a murky idea of where they might end up in life. But the die was cast for Abu at age four, when he walked into a music store with his parents and fell in love with the largest instrument he could find, a piano. By age 14, he had performed a duet with one of his personal heroes, the legendary Chick Corea. But this young man's career has already begun. We joined him at Avatar Studios in New York as he began recording his first album of original material. I think Abu's gonna have an amazing record when this is all over, you know? And, uh, you know, it's one, one is inspiring the other, so, so we're, we're having a ball. I'm looking forward to it. Jazz has no hometown. It does, however, have its sites of pilgrimage, and none are more impressive or revered than New York City. The energy and music here. You know, you can you can feel the city as a hum. You know, it has it has a heartbeat, it has a a pulse, you know, and you, you just feel that. And I haven't felt that anywhere else. What better place for our boot to cement his reputation as a composer? You live in large, dude! I just want you to know that. <laughs> it's hard to imagine an art form more reliant on raw creativity than jazz, but making a record that accurately captures its complex syncopations and the tight interplay between performers requires a wealth of expertise <coughs> oh, very good. Nice. and state-of-the-art technology. I usually do classical music and acoustic stuff, and now I work with a drum set and with a bass, incredible bass player. The arrival of Tom Kennedy in the studio left even other seasoned musicians a little starstruck. That dude is on almost every record in the world! Rolling tape now. Ryan Lee. Still in his early 20s, he is already a master, teacher, and even manufacturer of the drums. We're going to try each of these out and see which one sounds the best. Great musicians are more than the sum of their influences, and a great album more than the sum of its performances. I just got off the elevator. And uh, you're going to have some sexy saxophones and some cool flutes. This stuff sounds good, by the way, man. Oh, this sounds really, sound really awesome. good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, enjoy, I enjoy listening to it. <laughs> Yeah, Chop Songs in the house, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 we're going to lay some horns today for yeah. our boo, because our boo's the man. <laughs> man, did this little kid learn how to play so good? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Keep it going, guys. Right there, right there. Right. No problem. Now you get to hear some real saxophone. Teasing me! <laughs> I can only be who I am. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. Nothing else has to be said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. The mammoth preparations, however, could not prevent the musicians from indulging their passion and professionalism before the day was out. Man, I think it was a good day. We had a long sound check. Very long sound check and, and rehearsals, but, but we still got four tunes recorded. So we're pretty beat for today, but I think tomorrow we're going to hit it hard and be able to record most of the album. It, but it's been a good run. Yeah, I'm impressed by how much we got done today. This album, the whole album is like a story. They all have a story between two countries. It's not like that I live here, I wrote about New York. No, it's like I live here, me, I, I wrote for China and I wrote for uh, the distance between two countries. And the moment I liked, that's the point. You want to catch up? Uh, yeah, yeah. Abu's ongoing achievements as a 15-year-old are beyond fathoming for most of us. He balances the obligations of a performing and recording band leader and a student at the Western world's foremost school for music and the performing arts. Juilliard School is a mecca to musical prodigies and nowhere else on earth can claim to be such a crucible of musical superstardom. We're still getting to know each other a bit, but he's a very prodigious talent, obviously. I've just heard a couple of little snippets from his new recording. I hear restraint, I hear exuberance. Very promising young man. Abu is attending it as a freshman who has already soared to great heights as a performer and now a composer. It is hard even to speculate on the huge achievements he will continue to make in his musical career. He told me later, well, I, I, I don't like to work with people I don't know. And uh, within two or three months, he knew everybody and he worked, and now he's working with everybody very happily. And here is uh, the Opera House and there is a, a concert hall and here is the York Ballet. He comes in, in the rain, in the snow, he always makes it in. Here we are in the uh, Lincoln Center's concert hall. The famous records by Miles Davis, the, my funny one time is recorded back here. It was played by Herbie Hancock and Miles Davis and the uh, great drummer. Uh, and I'm, so, I'm sorry I forgot his name, but... And uh, let me think who is the saxophone. No, 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 I don't care about this. Okay, yeah. so, nice place. Don't mistake Abu's manner for that of a typical shy teenager. Aside from being a musical virtuoso, he cuts a commanding figure in the studio, easily gaining the respect of far more experienced musicians as he realizes his artistic vision. The arrival of guest vocalist Cecilia further highlighted Abu's ability to strike a balance between collaboration and striving towards his artistic objectives. The two quickly developed a strategy for recording the most emotionally challenging track on the album. Some people think, you know, I'm still young and uh, maybe I don't know what is love, but uh, I think Everyone has their feeling of love. It's not depends on the age. 
Abu's highly professional demeanor gives up very little about the profound emotion he experiences as an extraordinarily talented young artist. On day four, we saw it gloriously revealed in the recording of his exquisite ballad, Memories of Love. The inscrutable prodigy briefly disappeared, replaced by something even more rare. Somebody able to depict accurately the tremulous emotions of youth in a creative work. try to, to turn off everything that happens outside and you try to just be right here, right now and you listen to what happens in the music. And when, you, when everyone tunes in, in that sense, that's like the most rawest, more, most open and organic thing that could ever happen. Watching the production of an album like this is awe-inspiring, start to finish. That said, one still notices the wonderful moments when things truly come together. All the people, all the musicians, such a lot of talents are kind and easy to work and uh, this is uh, what I call family affair. That's really important for us, for Sennheiser, because it's a family business, but as well the way we take to, to make people comfortable and happy. And finally, at the end, we, we get something incredible. Amazement is normally rare among professionals during the workday, but if you pack enough genius into the studio, it does happen. Our mix peak, but... oh. Style is changing remarkably. We're back to real jazz, no more funk. Swinging. Small bass drum. Different sound. There's a lot of low end from the bass. We had a great moment with the special guest, Mr. Antonio Hart, who is a uh, British American jazz saxophone player. For the last one, we forgot the time and we played through 13 minutes for a take. Sometimes in the studio, the, the recording time is limited, and, but for this one, we all forgot that we just play the jazz. This kind of improvisation comes only from complete immersion in the piece. Paradoxically, it's the true professional that loses track of time in the studio. About ten minutes. <laughs> the commitment and professionalism of the performers on the album allowed recording to be wrapped up with time to spare. Keep on going, let's play. Oh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a fade in somewhere there. Yeah, somewhere. Oh, totally, there's bro. Out, there are a couple of fades. A couple, yeah, a couple, yeah, yeah. A couple of times. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
Valiantly chasing his dreams, his meant Abu has had to take on considerable personal challenges as a very young man. Not least of these is the adjustment to an academically demanding life far away from his own country. But those with responsibility for helping him blossom believe that resilience can be counted among his prodigious qualities. We're more connected to each other than we think. You know, even though we might look different and speak different languages, you cut us open, we're the same. This project is, is going to be unbelievable. And I think it's going to be, uh, it's, um, it's going to be worldwide. people to bring him out of his country to here and get an even more exposure. Uh, people just don't do that if it's uh, just because he plays the piano pretty good. There's some other stuff there. It's obvious. Mm -hmm.